Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about view templates. So let's say in both these floor plans, level 1 and 2, we want to hide topography, planting, and some other things. You can start from scratch, or you can start by creating a template from current view. Maybe I'll go with this one. I'm going to name this floor plan plumbing. I'll hit OK. Uh, whatever has a check mark here is going to be locked in the view later. So if I say OK, for instance, go to view template and assign that from here. Now a lot of stuff here, they are grayed out because they're locked in here. So for instance, if you want to use the same setting for your enlargement plans, uh, you just want to change the scale, you can remove the check mark for include for the scale, and then it's uh, going to be not grayed out here anymore. So let's go here. Maybe I'll leave, leave this on fine level of details. Uh, what I don't want to be included usually is the view range. So I'm going to remove it from here. So now I can type VR and it's going to work because view range sometimes it's better to be adjustable per view. Uh, but some stuff, if I go to visibility graphics here, needs to be hidden in both or all our plan views. So I'm going to type P for instance. I want to hide any planting. So I want to remove any planting. I don't want to see them. Uh, anything which is related to topography or topo solid, I want to hide them. So I'll, I'll remove this. I'll hit OK, I'll hit OK, and uh, if I go to my other view now, and you see I see plants and stuff, if I go to view template, assign the same view template, and uh, now I don't see any plants. Let's say uh, property lines I don't want to see in the view template, so I'm going to go with view template over the model items. Actually, property line, if I search for it, it's on the line, so from the site, I can remove this. I can also remove the check mark for the site. We don't need to see anything about the site here. Maybe I don't need to see uh, these elevation uh, tags as well because I don't want to necessarily show the elevations in the mechanical. I just need a couple section. So I'll go back to my view template from here. Elevations I don't want to see. Apply OK. Apply OK. Uh, I want to check some of my crop regions here. I can make these smaller. Same for level one. I want to check the crop region. Now it's starting to look better. And I want to put one of them on the sheet, ground floor plan. In the previous videos, we have created this title block with North Arrow key plan, revision, and everything. I'm going to drag and drop plumbing level 1 here. And maybe I can change the scale to 1 to 75. We have enough room to go a bit larger. And in this title block, we already have guidelines. I want to uh, check the guideline visibility so I see them. So I want to select the view and use arrow keys. Uh, maybe I'll fit uh, the top edge of the wall around my uh, grid C here. So in the other uh, sheet, which is the second plumbing sheet, I want to also check the grid lines to be on. I will check it off later. I'm going to put the other view here. So if I use WT, to see both views, I want both of them uh, to be set to 1 to 75 in a scale. And I want both of them to end around grid C here in my guidelines. Uh, when you are happy with the position of the uh, view, you can change the guideline visibility to be back of and turned off here as well. And now let's talk a bit about filters. So if I go to one of my levels, let's say maybe I have this section. I want to flip it at the moment and maybe it looks at here. I'll go to this section 
I have several levels here. I want to create a filter in this view in a way that I only see the levels which exist in a specific work set, right? So how do I do that? Maybe first I'll go with uh, view, view template. I also want to create a view template from current view and I'm going to name this section for plumbing. I'll hit OK. I need to go I'll hit OK here. I need to assign it to this view. So I'll go to View Template and uh, Section Plumbing. Now it's assigned. Maybe I'll remove the check mark for View Scale again. Uh, and I want to assign 1 to 75. OK. Now for that filter, I'll go to View Template. I'll go to Filters. And I'm going to create a new filter here. I'm going to add a filter. It's going to be a new one. Uh, I'm going to create a new by clicking here and I want to say this filter is for level. So levels filter. Uh, OK. So in this filter, I want to go with uh, levels. So it's going to be applied to levels. And I want to say filter based on work set, whichever does not equal to work set M levels, filter it. So we don't see it. I'll hit OK. I'll hit OK. I created the filter, but I need to also add it here. I'll add the filter for levels here. And it's enabled. I'll hit OK. Apply. OK. I'll go back here. It's enabled, but I need to check the visibility back off. I'll hit Apply. OK. Apply. And OK here. I'll go back to my view template. One other thing I would like to take care of here is that in my Revit links, I'll go to Edit and I'm going to go Custom and under Model Categories, I'll go Custom and I want to remove the levels under Annotation, actually, Custom. I want to remove the levels from here so I don't see any architectural levels. OK, I'll hit OK, I'll hit OK. Now I just see these two levels that exist in my a mechanical file. Uh, feel free to adjust the crop region and maybe I can hide crop region. So you can create as many view templates as you want and uh, customize them as you need. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.